2014 Africa Rice Science Week and Grist Africa Science Forum. Africa Rice Deputy Director General Marco Oak Rice reports on the highlights of the event. And we're at the end of the 2014 Science Week where we have uh, had a tremendous participation from almost 30 countries in Africa, uh, over 240 participants. Uh, and actually, mainly our uh, partners from the national systems were here, about 180 uh, scientists from about 30 countries uh, uh, discussing uh, science for impact. I think that was a, a key, key issue. How can we conduct science for impact? So we really, taking it back one step, we are working on the implementation of our strategic plan. That was improved in 2011, approved in 2011 by our Council of Ministers. Uh, clearly identifying our vision to reduce the reliance uh, of the African continent on imports, uh, bringing that back substantially. Right now, uh, reliance is, is uh, at 40%, so only 60% self-sufficiency. We want to bring the self-sufficiency to 90% by 2020. That is the vision of the strategic plan. And that still would mean about four to five million tons of imports in 2020. But we want to bring that reliance uh, on imports back uh, to uh, manageable levels. So we have three implementation mechanisms. We have the Global Rice Science Partnership, where we'll leverage knowledge from Asia, from Latin America, from Europe, to Africa and vice versa on different, different themes. For example, on rice breeding, agronomy, mechanization. The second mechanism is our task forces, where we work together uh, with African countries in a group uh, on a specific theme. Again, rice breeding, for example. So we have our rice breeding task force, uh, which brings together breeders from 30 countries in Africa. And then last but not least, we have the third mechanism, that is our rice sector development hub network, where we try to uh, bring together products from research, local knowledge, uh, in a value chain context to make a difference and working really with partners from the private sector from the development world. So these mechanisms we discussed in this science week. How far are we with implementing these mechanisms to achieve uh, our vision uh, for 2020? I think we, uh, we, we did quite well. On day one we mainly looked at the hub mechanism clearly not completely understood yet by everybody uh, need to work on that and we did that on day four so day one was really setting a bit the scene about what is a hub uh, what are the mechanisms to work in partnership I think now there's clear clarity I think among everybody a hub is just a geographical region where we work together on uh, rice sector development and the countries themselves have identified these hubs these regions that are strategic for, uh, for rice. Uh, for example, one region here in Benin is the Glasway region, uh, which Benin thinks is important to develop for, for the rice sector. So uh, I think day one helped us to again clarify a bit these issues and see, uh, sit together on that. Day two and three were only task force uh, focused, so we worked on day two and three, for example, in the breeding task force. Uh, fantastic results there. I think that task force is running since 2010. So we are now really maturing, I think. You can also see that the quality of the data is improving. We have indicators for that, scientific indicators. Heritability is one indicator. It's going up and up every year. So we, the quality of the data is improving, I think also because of uh, the training we're doing. And great news is that uh, the breeders together decided to nominate six new Arica lines. Uh, they are all from the Strasa project. Uh, uh, so these varieties are uh, tolerant to specific abiotic stresses, cold, salinity uh, and heat, iron toxicity. So we have six champions that do well in these particular challenging environments. The mechanization task force is, is doing a great job, I think, in working with the private sector, uh, producing different machinery, like the thresher cleaner, uh, uh, weeders, simple weeders, which can make already a big difference. So good work there. The policy task force is moving steadily ahead in implementing the baseline service so that we know where we're starting from in the hubs. The gender task force has clearly identified a number of hypotheses that they will test. So um, the agronomy task force uh, is also testing a number of technologies uh, together with farmers, getting a clear idea on the opportunities and constraints that are out there. So I think day two and three were, were very, very positive. So we are really moving towards getting scalable products that we can move uh, out into uh, the farmer reality. Day four just finished. There we really moved back to the hub mechanism and um, worked really on 
governance and management issues around these hubs. So uh, who really will take the lead in terms of uh, um, doing the work in these, these hubs and how do we con connect with uh, the country uh, uh, level thinking in terms of rice development. So there's going to be quite a bit of work there, I think also for Africa Rice. Uh, we are going to participate in every next meeting that will be held in every hub, there are 68 of them, to help facilitating uh, this meeting and identify with our partners what the vision is of these hubs. So for example, for the Glasway uh, hub in, in Benin, what with the partners do we think should be the vision in five years in terms of development? Uh, could be work really on, on production, so uh, rice yields, can we do something about that? Should it be more on post-harvest issues? Should it more on contractualizing uh, links between the farmer, the rice miller uh, uh, and the, uh, the consumer side? So that we have to identify vision for each hub because they're all so different. Uh, and then uh, define with our partners what research can do, what the development partners can do, etc. So if a product that could make a difference is a variety, Africa Rice and our partners, we cannot produce seed for everybody. So which of the partners out there is going to take uh, the next step in, in producing seed? And I think uh, that particular meeting uh, in each hub this year is going to help us make a step forward in, in really working in hub mode. Right now the hubs are more like, and that's already fantastic, uh, regions where we concentrate research efforts of these task forces. And th that is already key and clear because it will make our work more efficient. Eh? Uh, so an, an agronomist and a breeder, instead of working in vastly different areas, are now working together side by side in these hubs. That's great, but you need to make the next step. Uh, uh, because these hubs are not only there to concentrate research efforts, they are especially there to make the next step towards development. Farmers, uh, uh, private sector partners, rice millers, etc. And I think defining the vision of each of these hubs uh, with um, our partners, helping them, facilitating those meetings, uh, um, working together on an action plan for the next five years, and then eventually bringing together these hub works and see how they are linked with the ambitions of the country itself, I think that, that is great. So I hope that next Science Week we'll have four or five exciting uh, stories around hubs uh, uh, to listen to. We brought one exciting example from Ethiopia, we had one great example, but maybe next year we have five to ten examples uh, next to all our work in Task Force mode and that will be great. For more information please visit www.africarise.org.